Japanese culture is widely considered to be pretty bizarre. But what about the other side of the coin? Japanese Redditors. What are some things you consider strange from other cultures? A friend of mine who immigrated to the US from Japan back in the 80s. Shortly after he had moved to the US he saw a supermarket ad in the local paper that was advertising a special sale on fresh fish. So like any proper Japanese he hurried down to the store to get some. When he got there he was very confused. So he went up to the clerk in the seafood department and asked, I read that you have a sale on fresh fish. Where are they? These ones are all dead. As an added note, in Japan it's fairly common for grocery stores to have special short duration daily discounts they call literally time service. A typically Japanese sort of English loanword. So it's not that unusual to hurry to the store right away when there's a good sale. TL. DR. Japanese friend wanted to buy fresh fish and was confused that they were already dead. I was born there but raised in Canada so I can only go off of things my parents tell me. Mom lived there for 8 years. Dad is native Japanese. First time going to assume the bath thing. Japanese people love their baths. As far as I know, my dad has never had a shower. He only uses the bathtub. They also do it differently than in the west. You bathe yourself first outside the tub and then go into the bath clean. Also my dad used to remark on how long the trains are in Canada. He couldn't believe freight trains were hundreds of cars long when he first came here. I guess that's not really a culture thing though. I had a Japanese friend in college one time. I asked him, what was it about America that shocked him the most when he came here? He said, the first thing that shocked him was seeing a woman sitting down and drinking soda out of a 2 liter bottle. The second thing that shocked him was that the woman was shaped like the bottle. A kind of related interesting cultural difference. In Japan vending machines sell drinks of different sizes for example. 250 milliliters coke and 500 milliliters coke but they cost the same. People just choose the size that matches how much they can drink. That blew my mind the first time I saw it. A friend of mine who is a professional photographer had a friend come over from Japan and took him on a tour around the inner city parts here in Melbourne. At the end of the day his friend commented on, among other things, how extraordinarily well groomed the city's prostitutes were. It turned out he'd been seeing all the female office workers standing around outside the buildings having a smoke. Haha <laughs> yeah, women smoking in Asia generally has a really bad connotation. My wife is Japan native. And I've been to Japan three times. For the movie goers. Japanese people prefer to go to movies early rather than late. Nobody stands up until the credits are finished. They have a souvenir shop in the theater with limited movie themed memorabilia. Whereas here in the states we're lucky to get a small poster. At a Japanese theater you can buy fries, beer, many things unavailable here. Movie seating is assigned in Japan. Every time my wife and I go to a movie, she cracks up that everybody stands up and starts to leave as soon as the credits start rolling. Also assigned in Germany, the homeland of bureaucracy. Japanese here. I always find it funny how redditors talk about how strange Japanese pee is, but how widely popular it seems to be amongst redditors and non-Japanese males in general. I'm Japanese American and I used to spend my summers in Japan in my dad's hometown. However, a lot bizarre things didn't really dawn on me until fairly recently. For example, 1. Why do Americans always sing the national anthem at sports events? You never hear Kamigeo being played at a baseball game in Japan. 2. Kind of sad, but in America, it's actually possible for public schools to close down because their funding has been cut. Public school funding is untouchable in Japan. 3. Already been pointed out by some, but Americans seem more prudish when it comes to media. In Japan children's cartoons, it's not unusual to see a penis being depicted. It's very much in the context of just party humor and it's very much thought of like how little kids think to he. Weenies. Shin Chan. You sometimes see or hear mockery of Japanese and Chinese languages. I've often wondered what it sounds like to have English mocked. Dual citizen here. American and Japanese. I was born in Japan, moved to the US when I was 3. My mom is American, but we go back frequently. So my favorite movie as a kid was Totoro. I watched it with my American friends when I was 16. 
and they all started freaking out about the scene where the dad is bathing with his two little girls. If you haven't seen this movie, it is a Miyazaki film for young kids, not the adult anime most Americans picture. My brother and I bathed with my dad, Japanese, all the time when we were little and it never occurred to me that it was weird until then. In Japan, dads frequently bathe with their young kids, and if you don't, people think you don't care about your kids. It's completely non-sexual. I work for a Japanese company. We always have Japanese technicians and engineers over here. On the 4th of July, while at a celebration parade in Savannah, the Japanese were just in awe and confusion when units from the Army 3rd ID at featuring Stuart marched by and people stood up and cheered. They didn't don't understand why we celebrate our military the way we do. This I find particularly interesting because Japan used to be such a highly militarized society. You can still see remnants of it in the school system, and how seriously they take rank. Egg at work. One of the coolest things I learned about in an econ class was Japanese vertical unions. A manufacturer in America might have to deal with a ton of different unions for everyone on the shop floor. Welding unions, machinist unions, accountant unions, and so on. A Japanese company only has one union to deal with, their own, Mitsubishi, for example, probably has one union that encompasses the entire company and is more in tune with the needs and demands of their workers. From my wife, who is Japanese, one why not take off your shoes before going in your house, tracking in all the filth from outside means you use your house just to keep the rain off. Two why do you pee and poop in the same room you try to get clean and stupid and counterproductive. Three why do you wallow in your own filth get clean first, then relax in a hot bath. Lying in a pool of dirty water is disgusting. Translated to make them more rude by me. Should have been more clear toilet and tap is in one room. Shower bath is in a separate room. Also things I noticed she had to make adjustments for. Public toilets the walls door in Japan go all the way to the bottom. No real gap comes from way back when they had to use squat toilets 40 years ago and before people start jumping all over that would you take a crap in a toilet that had walls only up to your shoulders why not your junk is still covered so yeah it's just less privacy than you are used to also we don't recycle for crap compared to japan where i lived if the trash recyclables wasn't cleaned and sorted and left out just on the right days the trash men would not pick it up and the local busybody would leave a nasty letter also she finds American food as a whole to be very oily. Also, this thread is about things Japanese people find weird. There are plenty of threads where editors take something without context for people to interpret from entirely their point of view. Yes, some of the stuff is weird, but a lot of it is weird even by Japanese standards. If you were to take random photos of Mardi Gras or RSF, gay pride parade and look at them without understanding what you are seeing then they are gonna look pretty dang weird. The shoes thing, from their point of view is a big thing. My in-laws live in a house with only tatami and hardwood flooring. They have a kitchen table and chairs, and no other place to sit lie down on besides the floor. They have a low coffee table and cushions, and their futons are thick blankets on the floor. If you are used to sitting on the floor at home most of the time, your perception of cleanliness goes up a few ticks. Would you put your clean outdoor shoes on the kitchen table or countertops it's not the same thing but it's in the same vein. Also you wear indoor slippers on the hardwoods and you take them off before you enter into a tatami room. Because again, you sit on tatami, you sleep there and eat there. The level of cleanliness is higher. More modern apartments housing has more furniture and hardwoods and less tatami. But, many adults still grew up in the traditional system. About the baths maybe most people don't take them. But, the candle lit bubble bath is an American TV movie cliche. TLDR. Sweet baby Jesus's thread is what do Japanese people find strange, not defend western customs to the Japanese. I'm a Japanese American who has lived a long time in Japan. My wife is a Tokyo native. Mimikuki. Cleaning out one's ears is totally normal in Japan. My wife might do it like twice a day, and complains when I get more out of my ears than she does. Vending machines. Why aren't there more of them in the states? Don't people want a cold drink when they go for a walk? Cereal selection. I crap you not. My wife stared down the cereal aisle for 30 minutes while mumbling theirs. Just so many repeatedly. Service and tipping. 
If tipping is supposed to make service so much better, why is the service so dang poor in this country? Go to Japan. The level of service at even McDonald's will change your life. Healthcare. What the frick? Why does it cost me a few hundred dollars to fill a filling that popped out? This is like a $10, 10 minute procedure in Japan is a walk into any dentist. And don't give me crap about them not caring about their teeth in Japan. Just because Americans have the same attitude about their teeth as Koreans have about their boobs doesn't mean they don't care. Natural teeth work just as well as orthodontically enhanced teeth. And don't even get me started on the cost of emergency ambulance care. Did you know it's free to ride a helicopter ambulance in Japan? How come some Americans don't take their shoes off in the house? I mean, not just running in to grab something, actually lying down relaxing on couches and beds with their shoes on. Also, how gigantic all the roads and cars are. I guess it's because there's more space, but in Los Angeles in particular, every other car seems to be an SUV. I don't know who wears their shoes in the house. Heck you'd be lucky to find me in pants. I was born in Japan and lived there for 8 years. The things I found strange when moving to America. 1. Huge portion sizes for food. 2. Fried sushi. 3. Lack of elderly respect. 4. Education was drastically slacking compared to Japan, so I continue taking cumin, Japanese math tutoring service. 5. Ketchup. Ketchup on everything. 6. I was a child model in Japan because I was white and blonde. But in America parents are crazy about their kids being at modeling so I stopped. 7. Karate in Japan is no joke. 8. Medicine. It seems that Americans rely way too heavily on pharmaceuticals to cure ailments. In Japan, diet, natural herbal medicines, and traditional procedures, ek, acupuncture, are the more popular routes to healing. I don't know if this is still true. How come in America, if you are playing with children you are instantly a pedophile? I read stories where you guys are not allowed to even touch them. That's crazy talk. In Japan teachers would pick kids up, play with them etc. I think this kind of relationship really enhances the kids experience. I think it's really that there have been so many incidents that we just don't trust people with our kids anymore. I know one of the first things instilled in my brain as a kid was don't talk to strangers. We always respect anyone older than us in Japan and always talk politely to them even if you are friends. I find it weird that other countries don't really care who is older and talk to everyone pretty much the same. Also, everything is huge in America. Because there are a lot of crappy old people. My father is a native Japanese and the one thing that he always goes off on is how intensely fat people in America are. There's a Japanese marketplace that we frequent. It's a pretty nice place. They have a fantastic food court and all of the food is imported from Japan. But because it is such a Japanese place there's all kinds of white people there. So we'll be sitting eating lunch before going grocery shopping and he'll say, look at the fat white person with the foxtail. Or, in Japan nobody is ever that overweight. TL. Doctor my dad is from Japan and he is horrified by how fat Americans are. TL. DR. Americans get fat because of poor eating practices and intense laziness, and for some, glandular disorders and other actual medical issues. Japanese sumo wrestlers get fat because they choose to, because their nutritionist is force feeding them. Comma TL. Doctor my dad is from Japan and he is horrified by how fat Americans are. I'm from America and I'm horrified by how fat Americans are. One I haven't seen mentioned, my Japanese teacher found it both strange and distasteful how much Americans use the word love, and that we tell our friends family spouses significant others that we love them all the time. Not Japanese myself, but know plenty of Japanese exchange students. I think the few things that stood out to them the most was the sheer size of houses and apartments here. At the time my husband and I were living in an apartment that had a kitchen, dinning room, two bedrooms, a living room, and a formal sitting room, with patio that opened to the backyard. Our exchange student friends were floored that someone so young as ourselves could afford to live in a place that spacious. I know apartments in other areas of the country are smaller, i.e., 
NY. But for the most part here in the US we have a ton more space than Japan. They were also shocked at the ease and use of pot in this country. In Japan if I recall correctly it's not as widely used and harder to get. So it was something really strange for them when friends would offer up some pot like it was no big deal. This was my time to shine and I'm late. Oh well this is what I have to say. I am a double. Japanese American. And I was born in Japan so I have a pretty good grasp on the Japanese culture. What I find disturbingly odd is how Americans advertise law services so much on TV and commercials. Why do you want to sue each other all the time? I guess it comes down to the rudeness issue but to me the court of law is becoming some kind of popular entertainment. Also shows like Jerry Springer and Dr. Phil. I know Japan has some oddball TV shows but what the heck America. You can't make fun of Japan if you run shows about teenagers being proud of sleeping with plus 100 dudes. I'm European but grew up in Korea and Japan, with occasional trips to visit family in Romania, so I was basically raised like an Asian. Both my parents decided that since we lived in Asia I should just be raised as such so I would fit in better. I'm actually glad they decided to do it that way. It really did make things easier for me. Shoes inside this always bothered me. We had hardwood floors in our house and those get dirty so easily so it just became a habit to take shoes off. I see some people in the thread say they keep their shoes clean. Maybe visibly clean but think about how much nasty crap you walk through on the ground. It's like a toilet. It may look clean but that doesn't mean you want to lick the dang thing. White Day Valentine's Day so in Asia it's only the women who give candy to men on Valentine's Day. This is a whole other issue I'm not going to discuss about social obligation and the varying types of chocolate you can give. White Day is a month later and the men give things back to the women who gave them candy. I pee off my first non-Asian girlfriend by not knowing it was different everywhere else. Drinking getting drunk so you get drunk in Japan or Korea. Take a nap on the sidewalk, wake up, go home. Almost nobody will bother you or even mention you passed out the next day. In the US you get drunk and pass out you wake up with a penis on your face and all your money gone. Honesty in politics I could use a lot of examples for this, but I'll just point to the Japanese prime ministers. They make campaign promises. They fail to make a promise happen or go back on their word. Apology and resignation. That's why Japan is on their 5th PM in 4 years. How do other countries let these dishonest dickbags stay in office, and then re-elect them? I'm looking at you George Bush. I'd guess they would say rudeness. There is actually a syndrome called Paris Syndrome from those who watched movies about how beautiful Paris was and came back with PTSD from how rude people are. True story. The Japanese embassy has a 24 hour hotline for people suffering from this while in Paris. I think that's freaking awesome. In the US people walk as slowly as possible crossing the crosswalk. Heck, many will stare at you with that haha, I have control over you type look. In Japan people rush to get across the street to not inconvenience the drivers. Also, slurping noodles. It's freaking efficient. Who cares if it is loud? I was born in Japan and have lived in the United States for 16 years. I visit Japan pretty frequently. I still don't understand why people smell so bad on public transportation. There is always someone who smells like alcohol and or body odor. And people in the US don't cram into these vehicles like we do in Japan. It never smells on crowded trains in Japan. I understand Asians sweat less. But, seriously. I heard a while ago something about your diet. And how you think they don't smell because you have a similar diet than your fellow commuters. I just got back from Japan and a few things that pop up in my head right away are. 1. Americans are so wasteful. Especially with food. If you can't finish it or you don't like it then don't get it. It's extremely rude in Japan to not finish food. 2. Tipping is considered rude. Great service is expected and tipping is seen as disrespectful. Why is American service so bad then? Funny observation about this thread. You asked for Japanese people to tell you about American customs they find odd. The Japanese are doing that. The Americans are explaining to them why they are wrong. What I find interesting is that OP is actually asking about different cultures in general. Not just about America and yet still the whole thread seems to be about Japan versus America. Japanese people. I know you visit other continents too. I've seen you. Japanese redditor here. 
I've lived in the US for the past 16 years. I first didn't get American jokes at all, but now I learn to appreciate them. I love when someone starts a joke thread here, especially the offensive joke thread. Japanese enjoy more absurd humor. It's not about making sense, but it's about the element of surprise, performance, and timing. I feel privileged for being able to enjoy both Japanese and American humors. The thing I found strange about the America is its attitude towards alcohol. People love to drink here and they drink a lot. Japanese enjoy drinking as much as American, but we can't nearly drink as much quantities. Keg stands, and be a pong and bongs, WTF. At the same time, American society is so uptight about drinking, can't drink in public places like parks, and checking it everywhere you go. When I was kid, my dad would let me have a few sips of beer or sake. I remember when I was in high school, I used to hang out with buddies at a park drinking beer we bought from a vending machine. Good times. I'm sure things might be different today. On its flip side, Japanese are really uptight about smoking pot. I do not dare to tell any Japanese friends and families that I enjoy smoking weed sometime. When my brother visited me, he saw the amount of American flag displayed everywhere which he thought symbolized how strong militarism is in the US. In Japan, we do not display our flags often. Definitely not in front of McDonald's or back of cars. Also, how American public schools force their kids to recite the Pledge of Legions is bizarre and scary in my opinion. I'm always intrigued by so many Americans are fascinated by Japan and its culture. People seem to overly fantasize and mythologize Japan. I have not yet met an American who has the same level of interest and enthusiasm in Korean or Vietnamese culture. Even though there are more Korean American, 1.7 million or Vietnamese American, 1.5 million than Japanese American, 1.3 million. I'm going to stop now. I'm not even going to get into poverty, religion, violence, guns, lawyers, etc. Comma recite the Pledge of Legions, officially renaming it this, Pledge of Allegiance FTFY, but Pledge of Legions, Pledge of Allegiance. I'm not Japanese, but I have traveled there a handful of times to visit friends and whatnot. One of the things that stood out to me most in Japan is that people are so polite. People consider Tokyo Osaka to have less polite willing to help people, but even there I was always able to find someone to help guide me in the right direction to meeting places with my friends. But I'm not sure if communicating with people in Japanese is a main factor in it when I did receive help from these aforementioned people. Maybe it would have been different if I only spoke English to them. I also think that the elderly here in America are different compared to Japan. I've only ever come across nice old people in Japan. The only time I ever went to Hawaii thus far, I met this nice elderly Japanese couple at the Polynesian Culture Center during Christmas. I was also communicating with them in Japanese when I told them that I would be visiting Japan the following month. They gave me their contact information and they even went so far as to meet me at my friend's train station and spend the day in Asakusa with me. That was probably the most heartfelt experience I've ever had in Japan. Gah, now I'm getting all teary eyed just remembering that experience. I dunno. I've met a lot of really nice old people. Like I was riding through Indianapolis on my motorcycle and was lost. I saw an older couple in their convertible pull up next to me at the light. For the next 3 stoplights, they gave me directions bit by bit. Lived in Japan from 7 20 years. 25 now. 1. Driving. Having to drive to get anywhere is strange. 2. The ease of getting a driver's license here in America. 3. Tipping, as many have stated. First time I ate here, with 8 of my friends. We were followed by the manager out to our van. He was surprised, we were surprised. 4. The non-requirements to learn another language. I don't understand it. 5. Portion size. Huge. Bloody huge. I can say without a doubt I've gained weight simply living here. 6. Beds. I never had a bed. Futon. Until college. 7. Rudeness. People here are rude. Yes there are Japanese that are rude. But not as many. 8. People settling for an entry level business job. Salaryman is a dream of men. 9. PDA. So much public displays of affection. 10. Your fake Japanese food does not impress. We usually don't feel compelled to learn another language because for most of us, 
Everyone within 1000 kilometers speaks English. I've been learning Spanish though, just because I feel like I should. As a white guy that was born and raised in Japan I really only have one complaint about America. People in Japan respect other people's comfort about 10x more than the average American. In Japan the subway would be full of people yet quiet enough to hear someone clear their throat. Whereas here in America, it is quite loud everywhere I go. I grew up in Japan and now living in the US. Tipping is just confusing to me. When I go to a restaurant and see the price is $8, I just want to pay that $8, not having to calculate how much tip to leave. Why don't they just include the tip in the price? Or make tipping voluntary for exceptionally good service? As a person who has spent a significant amount of time with my Japanese so's family, I can confidently say that any familiar touching, hugging, cheek kissing, etc. is met with hastily concealed expressions of shock and incredulity. That crap don't fly. I did this to a Korean friend of mine and her parents called her s and said that it was a disgrace to their family to have a depraved daughter. They don't realize they are in Brazil now and we do this to everyone. I'm studying Japanese at college and my teacher told us about some of the differences that she finds weird. They don't eat turkey in Japan and she thinks it's mad weird that we do. But they eat chicken which is pretty dang similar. Japanese redditor here. I don't know how to prove my Japanese-ness to anybody here but what continually blows my mind, to put it bluntly, how fat Americans are, and how obesity seems to be such an okay thing in American society it's not okay, it's not healthy, it's unattractive, and I think most cases of obesity are self-inflicted. In Japan, if you work for any business or firm, there will be health checkups because healthcare for the employees is managed by the firm itself. If you are extremely overweight, they will tell you to lose weight to lower costs of healthcare. America is obese. Feels bad man. Just ate a giant chipotle burrito bowl. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.